Over the last few years, there's been a real blossoming of biking in New York, and I ride my bike to work, and I was just riding and wondering what my exposures were as I ride through Manhattan city streets. So what we do is we put air pollution monitors on cyclists, but then we also put a GPS data logger with them when they go, and what we get is a picture of the spatial patterns of air pollution exposure in New York City in a way that can feed into the design of safe bicycle infrastructure that minimizes exposure to air pollution. As we build up a database of rides, we intend to combine that into a map that can be used to predict which routes will be relatively clean and which will have higher exposure. This research dovetails with a broader effort that's underway at Mailman around the United States and around the world. We work with the Kentamo Health Research Center, which is part of the Ghana Ministry of Health, and we're looking at the health impacts of household air pollution from cooking fires. Round numbers, three and a half million people die every year from cooking in their homes. So we're testing two cook stoves, a biomass burning cook stove and a gas cook stove, to try to understand how delivering these stoves to pregnant women affects birth outcomes and respiratory health in the first year of life of the babies. We're also doing painstaking exposure monitoring, so we're taking very careful measurements so we can go back and look at health outcomes as a continuous function of exposures. The fundamental goal of our research is to generate the evidence base for effective policy. How clean is clean enough for a cyclist in New York City or the women in Ghana, and what policies will get you there? We know from historical records that the climate has been warming over the past century and that the rate is unprecedented. And there are a whole host of concerns that we have for human health. We also believe that increased temperatures are going to have profound impacts on the pollen season with more people coming down with allergic diseases like asthma. The piece of work that I'm doing right now involves really detailed spatial measurements of pollen concentrations. I go out twice a year and I install and take down these samplers. The ultimate goal of the study is to be able to estimate very local pollen exposure for children where we come up with a model where you can feed into it the home address of a child and it'll spit out the amount of pollen that we think that child has been exposed to. The notion of using science to inform policy is at the center of public health research and many people in the environmental health sciences and the Mailman School in general, their goal is to not just understand the world but to change the world. To quote Karl Marx. <laughs> <laughs>